What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Tyra, in the house. So today, I'm doing something a little different. I decided to try to do a makeup video. This is the look that we're gonna do together. It's like a natural makeup look with like a little pop of color. I do this like all the time for all occasions. Like, you know, you could wear this to a wedding. You could wear this to the grocery store. Going out to the bar. You know, whatever you wanna do. For this look, I primarily use this Jaclyn Hill palette. I just got it recently and I really like it so far. So if you like this look, just keep watching. I'll show you how to do it. You're probably wondering, where the heck did her eyebrows go? And the answer is, my eyebrows are in here. They're in this e.l.f. eyebrow cream jar. I'm using the color Espresso. So what I like to do for my brows is pull out a retired toothbrush. Keyword, retired. I'm not using this on my teeth anymore. I like to brush my brows down and then go in with, I don't know, this type of brush. I don't know what it is, an eyebrow brush. Just find the top of your eyebrow. And, you know, you can add your little arch in. No, just don't make yourself look crazy. After that, I like to take that brush and brush my eyebrows up so I can find the bottom of my eyebrows. Now I'm just gonna blend this middle section a little bit. You know, just make your eyebrows look normal. If your eyebrows look like bricks, it's probably not good. If your eyebrows look like pans, it's probably not good. I'll just kind of follow your natural eyebrow shape so your eyebrows look like an eyebrow. I hope that's helpful. Okay. That looks decent. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull out this Urban Decay eye primer. Put a little bit of that on your eye. This is gonna keep your makeup on longer. This is gonna prime your eyes. Just go with my finger and blend that out. So I just recently got this Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm gonna go in with the color Silk Cream. This brown color. And I'm gonna put that as my base color all over my eyelid. Once again, I'm just using my finger. I feel like you can add more color with your finger, actually. Make it some more vibrant color. Now, finally gonna pull out a brush. I don't know, this one's Luxie. And it has like a two-sided type thing. I just got this in a birch box. I'm gonna go in with the color Pookie, or Pookie. I believe that's how you say it, with this one. I'm gonna put that in my crease. Now I'm just gonna add and light into the crease of my eye. And it's just a nice color to like brighten up your eye. And now I'll just add Hunts, which is like this orangey color. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of that, a little, and put that just on the outer half of my crease. Just for like a little pop of color. After the eyeshadow, I'm gonna use this tattoo liner to add some wings. I like to start at the corner of my eye and just do a thin line all the way to the back. Now for this part, just pretend like you're connecting a line from your outer corner of your eye to your eyebrow. Like that. And then now you just connect these two lines. I like my eyeliner to be sharp, so. All right, now that our eyes are all shadowed up and lined up, I'm gonna go in with my concealer, this Fenty Beauty concealer. I'm using the color 370. I'm just gonna add that under my eye. So this will kind of clean up any eyeshadow that's fallen under your eye. Just like to blend it all the way up to my eyeliner, but just make sure you don't mess up your eyeliner, of course. Like so. Sticking with the theme, I'm gonna go in with this Fenty Beauty foundation. I also have the color 370 in this. The 
just like to squeeze a bit onto this little sponge, you know, go at it. Mocha matchstick from Fenty Beauty. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my contour. My schnoz. And I just blend that out with this same sponge. This is my favorite part, the highlighting part. So I highlight my cheekbones, my nose, and your eyebrow crease too. Just you know, try to keep it off your eyebrows. And I blend this out with my finger. <sighs> this is a home stretch. Now all we gotta do is add eyelashes. I just get some eyelashes from Walmart. I use this wispy kind. They're kind of flared out and I like them. I just put a little bit of this black duo glue. I let the glue sit on for like a minute so it's nice and tacky. I grab one end of the lashes and then I lay the other end on my eye very roughly. I secure the back section and then just adjust the front to where it needs to lay. Make sure you have enough glue on the inner crease because that that part likes to stick up. Alright, and just you know just adjust it until it's laying right on your lash line. Alright, I'm gonna go in and blend this with some mascara. eyelashes on sometimes because you know my eyelashes are non-existent they're like little stubs i have a question do any of you have boyfriends that have longer eyelashes than you because i do and it's great okay lastly we're gonna finish this look off with some nice orange lipstick the smashbox brand this is the color out loud this is really going to complement the orange that we put on our eyes Alright guys, and that's the gist of it. Let me know if you liked this look. Let me know if I should do some more makeup videos. You know, we could make this a thing. We could make it happen. Yep, that's all I got for you guys. So, let's get it. Peace out.